Okay, Noaman, let's not lose any more time and yeah, enjoy your presentation for 20 minutes with us. Thank you. Okay, thank you very much. Hi, good morning and good afternoon, everybody, because uh, there are a lot of connection all around the world. Thank you for joining us today. I hope you are having a great time uh, at this awesome virtual conference. It's my second talk here, and I want to thank Mehdi, Cecil, and Bartis for the invitation. My name is Norma Shakawi. I'm Chief Information Officer at Front Finance in charge of individual loans activities. Front Finance is a society general group uh, subsidiary. I'm thrilled to share with you a current and future vision of the bank and how alliances and competition are tied in the new era of Apple banking platforms. At the same time, as these issues are become crucial, uh, rising regulatory pressure, inadequate data, infrastructure, based expert decision instead of data-based decision, surging competition from non-traditional players, the emergence of platform and marketplaces have become significant barriers to success for this uh, financial institution. Today, we are not uh, going to explore how financial services leaders are embracing digital transformation or how to modernize the legacy system or how we have to move to the process to the cloud that will compete. But we can imagine together how the future uh, will look. Uh, let's start by uh, uh, a st story, a few uh, uh, story from my uh, own experience. A few years ago, uh, when uh, my son was only three years uh, old, he, he was crying uh, because he wanted to change the TV channel and slipped his mask on the TV screen without any effect. I, I showed him the remote control, but it was really disappointed because he showed that he could change the channel by sleeping. He wanted just to use the TV as a smartphone. Two years later, he asked me to buy him a Lego game. I have, uh, I have give, give him a, a tablet to upload a wallet no banknote or even credit card. He was looking for a digital credit transfer. Wow, it was six years old at that time. It, it, I was really surprised. And, and, uh, and I understand at that moment that the world is changing definitively. So what, what does this story tell us? That technology has recently evolved. May especially our behavior is also changed, but for our next generation, for young generation, it is the world living state change shift with, uh, which happened. Generation under the age of 14, millennials, teenagers, so uh, from their mind, from their age, they are looking for uh, this, not the same thing. They are looking uh, the same thing with other, but in a different angle of our current understanding. Now, uh, all my purchases are done from my smart smartphone. Click, click and collect is uh, business as usual for me now, especially during this crisis. Everywhere we, we look today, platform businesses are in our lives. Uh, we have access to a lot of platform, uh, which has more and more uh, consumer oriented. Business, platform businesses are taking over every industry and are already a huge part of our lives, uh, whether we realize it or not, from reading uh, or to commit to work, example, Google Playbooks, uh, Kindle, or uh, what and what path, for example, to borrowing money to opening a small business like Prosper or Landing Club to travel or to find a taxi at the same time. We have we go in France, for example. When we move to the next slide, uh, uh, when we see this figure, we can see that between uh, 1998 and uh, 2018, seven of 10 largest global companies in the world are now based on platform business model. The creating of digital communities and marketplace that allow uh, different groups to interact and transact Companies like Google, uh, Amazon, Alibaba, Tessant, or, or what else have used the model grow exponentially and grab significant market share from established firms. Platform represent a big change in the way uh, industries have traditionally been organized. And first mover the advantage is important, uh, an environment where we, the winner uh, take, uh, often takes all like in American elections. The concept of platform business is not a new phenomenon. Today's platforms are increasingly supported by global digital technology infrastructure like uh, API, uh, cloud, scalable network of users and resources that can be addressed uh, on demand that help to scale participation and collaboration. And Netflix, for, Netflix for me is not a platform business despite being a technology company. It's essentially a linear TV channel with a modern interface, that's, that's all. On the financial sector side, digital platforms want to access banking and significantly influence businesses model, interaction, competitive structure, pricing and customer behavior, just like what we have observed uh, on other sectors such as retail. Uh, few banks lead the way uh, when it comes to open banking and the movement is started. 
financial institutions uh, across the world are at value stage of their open banking capabilities. Many are still in the early phase of providing access to developer tools and, and smooth access of, to APIs, while others uh, have succeeded in developing a comprehensive strategy that sets up their open banking community for uh, the, uh, the long uh, run. Based on their progress and capacity in open banking, we have placed uh, uh, global banks into Globally, four quadrants. The first one is the starters in opening up. The second one is innovator in functionality. The third is leaders in experience, uh, client experience. And, and uh, the fourth one is masters uh, in openness. Really, the open banking remains its uh, beginning stage uh, uh, and that most banks uh, fall within the starter category. Business model of platform has entered financial services. They generate twice or five times more revenue than traditional banks or even fintechs. Uh, that being said, a number of banks across the world are making a tremendous strides in various parts and, and the open banking ecosystem. Many, many are developing a first API catalog with a wide range of functionality. Benefits, uh, benefits uh, of open banking are largely part of the consumer experience. C consumers can use such platform to manage and monitor various accounts, uh, while banking institutions and third parties can use transaction data to tailor services and marketing to individual consumers. Open banking allows banks to interact and co-create efficiently and securely with an ecosystem of service providers via APIs uh, uh, and, and thus uh, generate value for the consumer, strengthen their competitive position and set up a new potential of uh, uh, of revenue growth. Let, let, let's take a look on uh, what the upper banking uh, business models. We are generally three great models. The first one, uh, as we see, is bank as service. Bank directly or via their subsidiary sells its products such as loans, credit card, mortgage, or I don't know, money market accounts. They are a, a net producer of APIs. Some APIs, as for PST2, for example, or even some serv services can be shared with ecosystem. In the case of from finance, for example, with the specific APIs for consumer loans, it allows bank or fintechs to use API to distribute a core financial services product, such loans. Some services and APIs may be standards. Uh, this model is based on sharing value for all stakeholders, bank, fintechs, and clients. This model, bank as service, makes uh, it possible to consider income by uh, two or three, three points. The first one is the valuation of the bank services and data with other players in the sector. And the second one is acquisition of new customer throughout the distribution of existing offer of new offers on new distribution uh, channels. Then we can move to the second uh, the model is bank as platform in the middle of the screen. The bank as platform model allowed to use the services offered by third parties to enrich the bank offer within an universe of current services. For credit organization, for example, whose offers are widely uh, distributed through our partner B2B2C model, this is an opportunity to get closer to the end consumer to, and reduce the risk of uh, disintermediation, for example, by strengthening the direct value proposition for customer. In addition, this model contributes to enrich customer knowledge, optimize development times for new offer, time to market, reduce implementation cost uh, via API, and trade advantages on market innovation. But partners must also uh, wish to operate on this model. They are motivated to be possibly uh, of gaining access to customers of the banks or even to other partners, as well as increase in their distribution model. In this model, banks uh, the, uh, place themselves in the center of the game with APIs that are uh, sources of income and make it possible to more efficiently address uh, different needs of customers while retaining the core functioning of, of, of banks. And the last one, uh, uh, bank as marketplace, the banks offer an open to market players such as new banks, for example, on the model of Amazon with its motto, wide choice, availability in the, uh, immediately and the fair, fair, fair price. This principle, uh, Mastercard, for example, has launched an online marketplace in collaboration with Next Jump. The later analyzed the use of side uh, sites of by customers on e-commerce platform, for example, to adjust the offer and, and promotion that will be presented to them accordingly. This model has not 
shown a convincing economic performance at uh, to date up to date but continue to be possible uh, to choice amazon and alibaba two leaders of the new marketplace platform with their multitude of offering services provide also financial services amazon uses marketplace data to access risk uh, for loans while alibaba brings together a range of a banking ecosystem proposition the introduction of an open api economy is quickly opening up the global marketplace with these uh, changes however the possibility uh, to uh, to for banks to 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 a uh, competitor uh, are, 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 are are limitless let's move to the omni channel uh, channel banking uh, uh, and and what is happened with this with this kind of of uh, of opportunity to open uh, something else for clients uh, omni channel banks and api work together to build innovative financial services the possibilities created by mix up apis financial data and other uh, takes are endless open banking could cool benefit consumer with new insight and help people and businesses to manage their money gain access to products that may not have to be before a sale with new products that they were the open banking and api as a part of omni uh, experience a customer looking to open uh, a new bank account is often in for some some somewhat bumpy process there are a lot of uh, redundant forms and and in some cases a few new changes for example the process may start online but the then the customer is forced to visit the physical branch to verify the identity it's omni channel experience of source and not uh, the good kind more and uh, of fun house mirror version the customer is forced between channel instead of following between them by choice onboarding uh, of the wall uh, and most consumer experiences it's a uh, cumbersome process that turns the consumer off but it doesn't necessarily uh, have the, the the that way a, a key is is tapping uh, uh, into the expanding world of api offering and building new secure connection and value chain processes that today are friction filled and full of envying handoff between digital physical channels can be streamlined uh, digitized and, and smoothed into something that shop uh, stop taking uh, away from the customer experience and start actively adding it to it. an api can connect different processes to streamline the delivery of services and improve uh, and and elevate the customer experience uh, the api based stream, streamlining process essentially puts channels control back in the customer hands while offering up more automated option uh, most of this discussion around omni channel strategy focused on retail businesses not banks unfortunately but there are place for banks in the omni channel world banks uh, have successfully pursued omni channel strategy by for example creating mobile application creating a self service solution uh, and, and other and omni channel approach allows the integration of everything your business need from your marketing effort cross training stuff all these things help deliver a seamless customer uh, experience we talk about api banks ecosystem platform but not enough about fintech and surtech and startup let's start with an overview about the state of the situation before we, we dig deep uh, uh, into the fintech digital uh, financial service innovation the relationship between incumbent banks and fintech startup has been slowly sowing the open apis are large part of a reason that evolution like the collapse of the berlin wall it is due to the fact that apis have legacy system deliver data to modern application the reverse however is also true apis help modern application acquire rich data from legacy banking system apis alone aren't helping the bank's fintech relationship growing push for api standardization have been continually pushing the two industry together a lot of organizations have been working to develop an api playbook and store data that created a unified metric for security automation and flexibility as per terms uh, for this uh, creation of uh, api originally fintech and traditional banks were rivals fighting for every client but now everything has changed because of the fintech disruption of financial services by technology and by a niche strategy from each side so what what did it become possible why compete uh, with fintech uh, uh, when uh, when afi collaborates i think that we have a new challenges and new opportunities regulation ecosystem innovation distribution and what else but and both financial uh, institutions and fintech startup are becoming increasingly aware of the potential of benefits of of collaboration fintech startup have been described as the biggest reason for disrupting banks and creating competition for them but it does not seem 
like that, the above statement is true. If we take a look of the situation, then it will be absolutely wrong to say that banks and fintech startups have similar operations. When fintechs are focusing on one particular solution in which they are gaining experience throughout end-to-end -end process via the internet, banks have a greater role to fulfill other than meeting the financial needs. Banks are the medium of balanced world economy, follow the policy that can provide assistance, maintain balance in the economy, check the credit score or for individual. With this rapid growth of advanced uh, and advancement of technology, it, it has led to advance of new digital era dominated by big tech and platform as seen in the beginning. Financial technology of fintechs is prevalent in the world today with startups sporting every everywhere and uh, every every time sometimes around uh, the, the the end of uh, 2010 the bank started realizing that something uh, called a fintech could be a treat for their business but things did not go as expected the big spend in innovation by, by the banks did not stop the fintech for being a disruptive and from growing this customer basis. The banks realized that they didn't have what it took to succeed. At the same time, the fintech realized that they even thought that they have better skills when more agile and more becoming increasingly better fund. Breaking domination of the incumbent bank was going to be hard. By the way, uh, the things are not, uh, are, are not uh, as, 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 as that we, we expect. So banks and fintech started realizing that the future of both uh, lies in collaboration we have we are now seeing that uh, on both sides uh, of the of, of the piece many are keen to work together it's not a surprise that traditional banks are looking to develop new revenue streams reduce cost and meet rising customer expectation even though many incumbent banks are now uh, strategically focused on innovation and agility, they are applied in an uh, archaic legacy system and in-house digital innovation efforts have not been seen successful at, up to May. The collaboration can take many forms and, and model as a result of uh, a number of new players uh, entering the market. And when we have uh, to take a look of uh, the organism of the future, how it works, we have bank ends and we have uh, some, some uh, B2B partners like at FinTech and we have some open API platform solution in the middle and they are uh, looking forward to, to be intermediate between back front end and some other business partner. But in the final, we have the customers that we have to, to deal with. In conclusion, why new digital and dematerialized services are creating new and disruptive opportunities based on API and technology skills, expertise, and the ability to build a relationship with remain the basis of a long-term alliance, but also a necessary competition that what I call competition in an open world that is the new era of open banking. Thank you. Thank you very much, Norman. Uh, thank you for uh, for, sorry for the <laughs> yeah, no, I think it's exactly the 25 minute there. So yeah, we will leave the question for people who wants to reach you directly, uh, uh, right directly at the, um, uh, um, uh, so don't hesitate to put your email address or at least to uh, our people to engage with Noaman on the platform directly via chat. Uh, thank you Noaman for being there with us uh, again uh, uh, this year. Okay, and we're glad to continue and, and share your knowledge because you, you it seems you are doing really the the uh, the synthesis of open banking, open platform, open architecture, uh, right for uh, uh, with uh, Franfinos. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. See you later.